just use VirtualBox, I've seen this actually pretty much never. But sometimes, people want to create a virtual machine and they buy VMware when they could just be using VirtualBox. Now don't get me wrong, VMware is a pretty good product, and so is Hyper-V, Microsoft's bundled in virtualization tool in Windows 10 Pro. But pardon me, but they are expensive as hell. VMware's workstation player is free, but it's also closed source and non-free, as in Liberty, which means you must obey a license that says you can't use it commercially. Also, if you want a more professional product, there's VMware's Workstation Pro, which costs over 270 euros. That would be around 310 United States dollars. Then there's Hyper-V by Microsoft, which you can't really buy separately. It comes with Windows 10 Pro, which costs 200 dollars. But anyway, besides the costs, VirtualBox is still a free piece of software, as in Liberty. You have the freedom to look at the source code, and it's GPL, which means you have the freedom to do what you want with it. I should probably explain what VirtualBox is, though. VirtualBox is a virtual machine hypervisor available for completely free. Like VMware and Hyper-V, it allows you to create virtual machines, essentially emulations of x86 hardware. You can install pretty much any operating system on these. That includes distribution of Linux, Windows, Mac OS, pretty much anything that can be installed onto an x86 computer. And you can run this from your regular OS. Now, yes, VirtualBox doesn't offer the same performance available in the VMware products and Microsoft's Hyper-V. But then again, I only really use VirtualBox for things like testing out a different Linux distro, or maybe like doing a Windows destruction. So you're definitely not gonna be running games off these, or anything graphically intensive, but it's still a virtual machine. I've been using VirtualBox for pretty much all the times that I've been using virtual machines, and it's been always easy to set up and functional. VirtualBox has its own guest edition CD, so you can make the virtual machine compatible with your actual system to some manner, so you can like drag and drop things and have a correct resolution and like being able to scale the screen with it scaling with you and that kind of stuff. It's also cross-platform with Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. Something that is weird about VMware's products is the fact that they are biased in price. Their Fusion software used for Macs costs much less than the workstation software used for Windows. In the end though, if you need to do anything professionally, you probably shouldn't go with VirtualBox. However, if you are a personal user and you plan on testing out operating systems or just doing fun things like Windows Destruction, then just use VirtualBox. This video was surprisingly not brought to you by Kimu. I would have made a video called Just Use Kimu, but Kimu isn't very well supported on Windows and Mac, and I like to keep all my software cross-platform.